Hello everyone, it's me Sanjay Vasu back again for another video. This time I'm doing it on Cambridge International Examination Prime B Checkpoint for Mathematics Paper 2 April 2018. You're allowed to use a calculator. Let's start. Question 1. Write 4076 in figures. This is quite straightforward. It's just 4076. Question 2. Here are some scales which show the mass of a letter. What is the mass of the letter? So you can see that 0 to 50 grams is five divisions over here so the length between one division is 10 grams so you have 100 grams here and then one two three extra small divisions so it'll be 100 plus 3 into 10 that'll be 130 grams that's the answer question three here are some number cards use each card once to make each side of the diagram total 120 so 80 plus 30 plus 10 is 120. 60 plus 10 plus 50 is 120. Now we've canceled out two of the cards to your main. Now out of these, 120 minus 30 is equal to 90. So that means these two should add up to 90. And 120 minus 60 is equal to 60. So these two must add up to 60. And the only way to do that is to do this. All three cards are used. 70 and 20 are here, 40 is over there. That's the answer. Question 4. Here are some statements about odd and even numbers. Join each statement to the correct answer. One has been done for you. Even plus even is even. Even minus odd is always odd. Odd plus even is always odd. And odd minus odd is always even. You can tie that with examples if you want. For example, even minus odd, we can say 6 minus 3, which is equal to 3, odd. 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3, odd, right? Now, odd plus even, that'll be 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7. Odd. 5 plus 8, which is equal to 13. Odd, right? So this is odd. Odd minus odd, we can say 9 minus 3, 6, even. 13 minus 11, 2, even. That's how you get it. That's the answer. Question 5, here are four digit cards. Use two of these cards to make fraction equivalent to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 can be 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6, for example, using the cards given here. But only 2 by 4 is actually possible out of the 3 which I just mentioned. Because the cards are 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's no 1 or 6 there. That's the answer, 2 by 4. Let's go to question 6. Class 4 did a survey of the different ways students come to school. Here are the answers. A. How many students walk to school in week two? In week two, the walk is four and a half people representation, and one of these represents 10 students. So that'll be 4.5 into 10, which is equal to 45 students. That's the answer. B. Rajiv says more students came to school by bicycle in week one than in week two. Explain why he is wrong. Well, in week one, one human picture represents five students. So there's three of these in the bicycles. So this is three into five, 15 students. And now for week two, this represents 10 students. So 10 into two for bicycle, 20 students. So explain why he's wrong is because for week one, number of students who came to school by bicycle were 15 students, which is less than 20 students for week two. 20 students, week Two. That's the answer. Question 7. Look at the number triangle. Complete this number triangle using the same rule. We can see that the number in the square is the total of the numbers in the circles. So 1 plus 4, 5. 1 plus 2, 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. So complete this number triangle. We'll have to do 249 plus 223. That'll be equal to 472. 249 plus something is 476. So if we minus 249 from that, we get 227. So 227 is over here. And now 227 plus 223, that'll be equal to 450. 
That's the answer. Question 8. Here's plan of a village. Complete the instructions to show how to get from the school into the park. So from the school, you go to north. That's given here. Now we go to the east because we need to go like this to get to the park, right? So three east. By the way, if you're wondering how you say three east, it's three units, one, two, three, and then the directions are given here, so this is east. And then you go one north, and then when you come here, you just go another three east. And then you reach. That's the answer. Remember, also, why have they highlighted into the park? Because they don't want you to just come and stand outside, right? That means you could put 2 east instead. But then into the park means only if you go 3 east from this point, you will get inside the park. That's the answer. Question 9. Students from class 5 record the temperature during the day at school. Here are the results. The time and temperature according to the time is given. The temperature is applied on the line graph. Complete the graph. So we can plot the points. 9 o'clock 7, 10 o'clock 10, 11 o'clock 13 are all given. Now 12 o'clock 15. Next is 13 o'clock or 1 o'clock technically, 20. 14 o'clock, which is technically 2 o'clock p.m. Now we can connect the points like this. And that's the answer. Question 10. Drawing on all of the square numbers in this list. So the square numbers, we have 16, which is 4 squared, 36, which is 6 squared, 64, which is 8 squared, 4 squared, 6 squared, 8 squared. These three numbers are the only three square numbers. That's the answer. Question 11, round the answer to each of these calculations to the nearest whole number. 24.6 into 8, we just get a calculator out. Here we are. 24.6 into 8. Now rounding 196.8 into the nearest whole number, that'd be 197. 348 divided by 7.5, 46.4. Since 4 is less than 5, we can do just 46 for nearest whole number. 5091.5 divided by 17, let's do that. We get 299.5, which rounding to nearest whole number will be 300. And for 471.9 to 9.1, we get 4294.29, which is simply 4294 to the nearest whole number. That's the answer. Let's go to question 12. Ico feeds penguins at the zoo. For every five fish, a mother penguin is fed. A baby penguin is fed two fish. Ico feeds the mother penguin 20 fish. How many fish does Ico feed to the baby? So the mother penguin gets 20 fish. That'll be equal to 4 into 5. The baby penguin will get 4 into 2. 4 into 2 fish, which is equal to 8 fish. That's the answer. Question 13. 74 boys sleep in tents at a camp. Each tent holds 9 boys. How many tents are needed? So that'll be 74 divided by 9, which is equal to... 8.22222 that'll be equal to 9 tenths because we need an extra tenth for this decimal place right so we need one more tenth which is 9 question 14 a piece of string is 1650 centimeters long it's cut into two unequal pieces one piece is 150 centimeters longer than the other how long is the smaller piece so let's say the smaller piece is x that means the longer piece is equal to 150 plus x so adding them up there are only two pieces so 1650 total length is equal to 150 plus x plus x which is 2x 2x equals 1500 and x equals 750 centimeters and that is the length of the smaller piece that's the answer question 15a change 33.4 meters to centimeters we simply multiply by 100 so we get 3340 centimeters. B change 33.4 centimeters to meters. Simply divide by 100 so we get 0 0.334 meters. That's the answer. Question 16. The diagram shows a fair spinner with 10 equal sized sections. Each section is labeled with a number from 1 to 10. And Sergio spins the spinner. A. Take the word that describes the probability of each event. 
Anastasia spins a number smaller than 8. So smaller than 8 would be numbers from 1 till 7. So that's 7 out of 10, which is in the likely category. Anastasia spins a number that's a multiple of 12. So multiple of 12 starts from 12, 24, 36 and goes on. But out of the first 10 numbers, which are 1 to 10, there is no multiple of 12, so it is impossible. That's the answer. B, give an example of an event connected with the spinner that has an even chance of happening. So that means we need a number which has probability of half. So for example, we can say choosing an even number. You can also say choosing an odd number or even you can say choosing a factor of 12 because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, which is 5 out of total 10, which is equal to 1 by 2. For even and odd numbers, it's also the same thing, 5 by 10, 1 by 2. So any one of these answers correct? That's the answer. Question 17, match the fractions with equivalent percentages. What has been done for you? 1 by 2 is 50%. 2 by 10 is 20%. 68 by 100, 68 percent, and 3 by 4 is 75 percent. Question 18, these calculations show the factors of 10, write calculations to show the factors of 42. So we can write 1 into 42 equals 42, 2 into 21 equals 42, 3 into 14 equals 42, 6 into 7 equals 42. And well, that's it, because after this we have 7 into 6, which is simply a repeat of 6 into 7. So that's it. That's the answer. Question 19. Complete the following. 40 into 50 equals dash into 100. So this will be 40 into 50, 2000. That'll be something into 100. Bring 100 to this side, divide by 100 to get 20 here. 300 into 60 equals 200 into dash. This will be 18,000. And 200 into something is 18,000. Bring 200 here. We just divide instead. That'll be 90. So 200 into 90. Question 20. Here too, 1 centimeter dot equates. A, join dots to draw a rectangle with perimeter 12 centimeters. That means 2 into L plus B is equal to 12 centimeters, since that's the formula. So that means L plus B is equal to 6 centimeters. So we can say that the length is 4 centimeters, and width is 2 centimeters, for example, and get this. Well, we can also draw a rectangle with 5 cm by 1 cm because the payment will still be 12. But it's best not to draw 3 by 3, right? Because this will become a square, not a rectangle. So there are only two answers to this question. You can also draw this one in a vertical way. So that's also counted, and that's the answer. B, join dots to draw a rectangle with area of 12 cm squared. So that means length into breadth is equal to 12 centimeters squared so for example we can say 3 into 4 3 into 4 so the breadth is 3 and length is 4 that's the answer there can also be 2 by 6 or 1 by 12 rectangles and it can also be flipped to make it vertical that's the answer question 21 here are six shapes why the letter is in the correct place on the cow diagram one has been done for you Polygon A has right angles. Which other one has right angles? F and C, right? So C and F. But are both of them polygons? Well, C is not a polygon, but F is. F is a trapezium. C is not a polygon because it has a curved side. Does not have right angles are B, D, and E. And out of this, B and D are polygons. While E is not a polygon because of the same reason, this has curved sides, these two do not. Question 22. A single ticket for a journey costs dollars 1 and 25 cents. 25 single tickets could be bought in a book for $27. Lily makes 25 journeys. How much does Lily save by using a book of tickets? Show your work. So the cost of 25 single tickets... is equal to 1.25 into 25, which is equal to, let's get our calculator out, 1.25 into 25, that's $31.25. So it can be bought in a book for $27.
So money save is equal to 31.25 minus 27, which is equal to $4.25 dollar or $4.25. dollars 25 That's the answer. Let's go over to question 23. Here's a recipe for onion soup. Oliver makes soup for six people. Show how he changes the recipe. So this one serves four people. So six people means if we multiply four into six by four or multiply by three by two, we get six people. So we multiply all of this into three by two, right? So this will be 60 grams butter, three large onions, 1275 milliliter stock, and four and a half teaspoons flour. That's the answer. Question 24, a mango costs $1.50. An apple costs 3 tenths of a mango. What's the cost of two mangoes and five apples? Show you're working. So one apple, for if you need to find the cost of apple, that'd be three by 10 into 1.5 because $1.50. So if we do this correctly, you'll get 45 cents. Now for two mangoes, 2M and 5 apples, 5A, we get 1.50 into 2 plus 0 0.45 into 5. That will be equal to 3 plus 2.25, $5.25. That's the answer. Question 25, look at these signs. Write one of the signs in each box to complete these statements. 20 divided by 5. That's equal to 4, which is greater than 1 by 4. 0 0.3 is dash 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is equal to 0 0.33333, which is greater than 0 0.3. So the less than symbol should be over here. 0 0.3 is less than 1 by 3. Question 26. Here's a grid of numbers. Draw a path between the two shared numbers, passing only two prime numbers. You may not move diagonally. So we go 19 to 17, right? Because it's the only prime number there of 17 and 18. Next, we have 15 and 7. 7 is the only prime number, so we draw it like that. Now next is 3 and 20. We don't want to go back to 17, of course. And out of this, the prime number is 3. And now we have 4 options. 7, 15, 11, 1. 7, we're not going to go back, right? So we cannot go to 1. It's neither prime nor composite. 15 is composite, so we can only go to 11. And from there, we can go to 2, because it's the only prime number here. Because 6 and 12 are composite, 3, we just go back, no use. And from 2, we finally get to 5. That's the answer. Question 27. Put brackets into this calculation to make it correct. 6 into 1.5 is 4.9 into 4 is 55.6. Right now, we'll get 6 into 1.5, which is 9, plus 4.9 into 4, which is equal to 19.6. So, we'll get 28.6. And that's not equal to 55.6. So, you need to put a bracket. Actually, the only place you need to put a bracket is this. Because multiplication comes first. So this will be 9. Add 4.9, we get 13.9. And 13.9 into 4 is equal to 55.6 as given. So we only need to put brackets over here. That's the answer. Question 28. Four children take part in the swimming relay race. The table shows the times in the race. Work out the total time taken by the team in minutes and seconds. The total time will be adding all of these numbers. Total time equals 92.4 plus 86.7 plus 85.1 plus 91.8. That will be equal to 356 seconds. And if you convert this to minutes and seconds, we divide by 60 and get the quotient and remainder. The quotient will be 5, so 5 minutes, and then the remainder is 56, so 56 seconds. 5 minutes and 56 seconds, that's our answer. And with that, I come to the end of the video. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends and family, and comment on how you think this video was. With that, it's me. Sanjay Vasu, signing out. Thank you.